A few weeks ago, I did a video called How Fast Can a Foiling Sailboat Actually Go? where we discussed how most foiling sailboats have trouble going faster than about 50 knots due to foil cavitation. A few people pointed out that the Vestas Sail Rocket 2 solved this cavitation problem and was able to smash the sailing speed record by hitting 65.45 knots over 500 meters. Today we're going to talk about how Sail Rocket 2 works, including how it broke through the 50 knot cavitation barrier. Sail Rocket can only sail when the wind is blowing from the left of your screen, or starboard tack. The wind hits the sail, which generates lift, like an airplane wing, and because the wing is canted towards the wind, the wind wants to lift the boat right off the water. You can see the pod under the wing is literally floating above the water. In fact, the pods are only there to float sail rocket until it gets moving. To counteract the lift of the sail and keep sail rocket from flying away like a kite, there is a foil directly opposite the wing, drawn in yellow, which acts like a hook in the water to pull it back down to earth. The lift generated by the wing pulls sail rocket up into the right of your screen, while the foil pulls it back down to the lower left. This is the opposite of how most fast boats use foils, which is to lift the boat out of the water and not pull it back down. Sail rocket's wing and foil are perfectly aligned, so the wind can't heel sail rocket or push it over like a normal sailboat. It's these aligned and opposing forces that drive sail rocket forward at immense speeds. But what about cavitation? To efficiently generate lift, you need a smooth laminar flow of water around the foils, just like an airplane wing. The problem is that at around 50 knots of boat speed, the water literally boils around the foils, which reduces lift, dramatically increases drag, and can even damage the foil. Sail Rocket's foils do cavitate, but unlike most foils and wings that are shaped like a teardrop at the top of your screen, Sail Rocket's foils are shaped like a wedge on the bottom of your screen. The flat back side of Sail Rocket's wedge foil allows air to be sucked down from the surface, which creates an air pocket behind the foil. This air pocket stabilizes the cavitation and dramatically reduces drag above 50 knots, allowing Sail Rocket to go even faster. Unfortunately, wedge-shaped supercavitating foils are far less efficient than teardrop foils at speeds less than 50 knots, which is why most boats don't use them. And if you're wondering why more boats don't use their sails to generate lift, and the foils to pull them back down again like sail rocket, it's because this setup doesn't work very well in waves. You really don't want that foil coming out of the water. So sail rocket requires lots of wind, but flat water, which is a rare combination. In fact, there are only a few places in the world where this happens, like Walvis Bay in Namibia, where powerful 20 to 30 knot winds blow over a low sandbar so waves don't have time to build. This is one of the few places in the world where sail rocket can sail, and only on starboard tack. After each run, the crew needs to tow Sail Rocket back to the other side of the course. This is why I didn't talk about Sail Rocket in that last foiling video, because she can't really sail an arbitrary course. It's not particularly practical, maybe not even a boat, but still one of the coolest sailing contraptions ever built, and the fastest so far. Leave a like, subscribe to my channel, and watch this next video.